Good morning, happy Saturday everyone. So today I'm gonna to talk about being present. One thing that I've been practicing the last uh, two or three days is being completely present in my body. Now don't get me wrong, it's a hard, it's a hard habit to get into because we get very caught up in our heads, in our thoughts, in our emotions, and I feel, find that being present, it allows me to observe my thoughts, and it allows me to observe my feelings. And when I observe my thoughts, I can allow these thoughts to come in, and I can allow these thoughts to leave. But because I'm observing them, and I know that I am not my thoughts. I can just see what where my headspace is. And once I can know where my headspace is, I can then decide to change it. And this has the impact of completely transforming. Because my my belief is, my I feel is that these thoughts just want to be seen and heard. If you try to push these thoughts away, or try to push them down, what I've realized is that they come back and they push against you. And it's the same with feelings. If you try to bury a feeling down, such as anger, frustration, sadness, then all you are doing is giving that, that feeling a bit of strength. But if you just allow yourself to feel that feeling, quite often that feeling Will get it won't get weaker but it won't be there as much so years ago I for years I have suppressed my anger for years years and years I've been what used to be well is what is known as a mr. nice guy in for age for years years and years and what I've realized is that when I try to push my anger down now I can do that when I'm sober but what I realized is that when I start drinking, I can no longer control that emotion, so that emotion comes out with a vengeance. But what I've been allowing myself to do the last couple of years is to feel that emotion. I've been allowing myself to feel that anger in a controlled manner, in a way in which I can deal with it, I can kind of work through it, such as boxing, strength training, running, or just sitting down and allowing myself to feel the anger. And what this does for me is it allows me just to feel and to let go. And when I let go, that feeling disappears. But the key is here is to allow yourself to feel it, to feel that emotion. Allow yourself to witness that thought. And then the funny thing is it just disappears or it isn't, it's no longer there as much. But if you try and bury them down or you try to ignore them, they're like, all right, I'm, you're having it now, you're having it. And they uh, come back and again and again and again and again. Because in the day, we are not our thoughts and we are not our feelings. And once you realize that, you start to get your power back. And you know what? Feeling and emotion isn't a bad thing. And you can pick a time and place where you do it. So quite often, if I'm feeling sad or angry, I will say, okay, I'm feeling sad and angry now. I'll carry on the rest of my day. And later on, I'll allow myself to feel it. And for me, I'm quite, I'm very intuitive. So I, I can feel in the body where this emotion is. And then I can put my attention into the emotion. Now, I just really wanted to talk about being being able to be present with these thoughts, emotions, and whatever comes up. You know, I, I know a lot of people who aren't aren't as attuned to, as me with regards to my body and my intuition, and struggle to even feel the emotion or feel the thought. But the key is to start trying. You start if you start doing it. It gets easier, easier, and easier. For I believe we are powerful, infinite beings. All of us, we are at the core, we are powerful, infinite beings.
beings and we can do anything everything is possible so when you understand that and you kind of realize that we are not our thoughts we are not our feelings then you can start to observe and you can watch them come in and you can watch them go out but first you have to be present so learning to be present is a very good skill to learn and so I'm asking the question today where are you not being present in your life and how can you become more present and can you are you able to start watching your thoughts and emotions I'll leave them questions with you have a good Saturday